All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, on the Brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And I uh, just came in the house and uh, just seen uh, this on the, on the spread on the YouTube stream. And I was watching Willie D. I saw his title here. He had Asian man shot six-year-old black boy in the arm for riding bike in his yard. And then, you know, he, he said it. And he said, you know, he left the link there. So I clicked on the link. And this brought me to an Instagram video. So, you know, I'm going to play the video here. But uh, this video just shows you why we need the Lord. All right. They just passed laws for Asians. They just passed laws for Asians. All right. To be protected, you know, or being harassed, you know, from people picking on them about this. Um, I believe it's about this uh, Crown Royal. All right. But here it is. You got an Asian man shot a six year old boy. All right. A six year old Israelite. All right. In the arm for riding his bike in the yard. And I can only scrap a leak a little bit and say, you know, Jake bad as hell. This shows you Jake is hard-headed too, because I'm pretty sure the Asian dude probably was yelling at him, screaming him, telling him to get out his yard. But being that they young, they six, he riding around with his little crew, six and seven year olds, eight year olds, riding on their bikes, being bad. But this this Asian man pulled out a gun and and shot him, man. You know. So let's just play this video real quick. he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kids. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son Kobe. He tried to hit me with a sledgehammer, but that's not going to work with him too fast. So that See, he said he tried to hit me with a sledgehammer, but that didn't work because I'm too fast. So it's like you can scrap a little bit, you know, to the story that they probably was, you know, fucking around, man, you know. Messing with him and shit. So he tried to chase him, but he couldn't catch him. You know, Jake, Jake bad as hell, man. And what did he do? Caught a gun. Boom. Shot me right here. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kids. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son Kobe. He tried to hit me with a sledgehammer, but that's not going to work with him too fast. So then what did he do? Caught a gun. Boom. Shot me right here. It's all on video. Saturday afternoon on Candlewood Lane. You'll see kids playing, hear a gunshot, then Kobe realizes he's hit. Allegedly fired through his front window. The bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. Did it hurt? Yes. You point to it? Show us where it's at. Right now, he's not even processing. Yeah, and the most high show of mercy. All right. So that's a warning, man. Most I showed mercy, man. The boy don't even know that he could be he, he could have been out of here, you know, and the bullet went through the arm and it didn't even break a bone. You know, it looked like he got shot, went through the body and then now he out there playing again. Just got a little bruise or a scar, you know. Exactly what happened. You know, he don't realize how close he came to not being here. Um... But I realize it. 29 year old Lee Wen is charged with assault with intent to murder. He's apparently had issues with neighbors in the past, and this time, Dad Arnold suspects. Hey, this is why these heathens don't want to live nowhere near Jake. They don't want to live in the neighborhoods with y'all. You know, they despise y'all. All right? This is why we, we need to be separated. Jake, Jake living in these homes. You got an Asian man living ne next door neighbor, a house down. You know? Lee Wen was mad. Kobe's bike was in his yard. I'm alright, really. I mean, I can't 
I can't function and I don't know what to do. A Washtenaw County judge gave him a $10,000 cash bond, which he made Tuesday. This is him walking out, picked up by family. The pro now, if he was Jake, he'd be under the jail for, for shooting a six-year-old boy. All right, and I'll leave a link for brothers to go and want to watch the rest of this. This is, I guess, might be on World Star too. I don't know, but um, I want to read a quick scripture before I run out of time on my memory. Matter of fact, let's see if I can make some memory. I'll be right back. All right, got a few more minutes. So, uh, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen. It says, "If my people." which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. So now it says, if my people who are the Lord's people, the Israelites, okay, the 12 tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, so-called West Indians, so-called Haitians, Hispanics. All right. Y'all Israelites. The Lord said, if my people, which are called by my name, what name are you called by? The name that you don't consider, which is Yasha Allah, all right? He, Prince, Power, meaning you're a prince of the Most High, okay? Because Jacob, which is our forefather, his name was turned, was changed to Israel, and Israel in the Hebrew is Yasha Allah. So it says, which are called by my name shall humble themselves. And Jake ain't humble. That's the point. Jake ain't, Jake ain't looking to repent. They're not looking, you know, for the Lord's protection because they got too much going on in this flesh, this sinful flesh. You know, they could care less. It says, shall humble themselves. You know, scriptures do speak on how our people are stiff necked, hard, and rebellious. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, let's see if I can wind back to the little boy, him and his crew were probably being rebellious. And to plant in that man's yard or whatever the case may be. All right. Just scrap a link to the story. And seek my face. It says, shall humble themselves and pray. Now, Jake only prays when they're in trouble. All right. Or if they are praying, they're praying to a false God, which they call Jesus Christ. And that ain't the name of the Lord. That ain't the name of the son. All right. The only begotten of the, of the father. All right. Which only begotten means first spirit created. Okay. So it says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. What's the Lord's face? The Bible. These scriptures. All right. So that you can have the proper understanding and how to worship the Lord. To know what you worship. All right. The uh, book of Jeremiah 3 and 15. He said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So it ain't all about. The zeal. Zeal is a good thing to have because you have um, passion. All right. You have excitement in the mind toward the power. With zeal, you have to have the true knowledge, though, because you can have excitement and passion toward a lie. You want to have the excitement and passion toward the truth. All right. Which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. So you have to seek his face and turn from their wicked ways. And that's the problem with Jake. They wicked. So the Lord numbered you to the to, to the two thirds club. All right. It says, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And what land? The land of Israel. That is the land that the Lord have chosen. OK, for us. But right now we're not in that land because we, we was pushed out of that land. All right. Fleeing Roman persecution. And we never been in that land ever since. All right. But we're going to get that land back through Yahweh Shai delivering the elect so it says then will i hear from heaven all right because we're supposed to be praying to the lord the lord said he will hear us okay uh scriptures precept come in mind um he said uh he will set a mark upon the foreheads for those that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof all right now it says and i will forgive their sin because he's going to forgive us because of repentance all right through yahweh shai it says and will heal their land all right, so let's just move on. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. 
that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. You know, and lucky the Lord had mercy upon little man here, man. The Lord had mercy on him, but he got shot in the arm. Bullet went straight through the arm. Don't look like he broke a bone. And all he has is a, probably a little nasty scar there. Which he's so young, that scar probably will grow so small. He'll probably just have a dent, a little small dent, dent, dent in his arm or something. To just remind him that he was shot when he was six. If he make it, you know, well, hopefully we're not even around that long. Because may the Lord come sooner, all right? The Lord shorten these days for the elect's sake, all right? Because we don't have a, a, a bunch of years left here like Esau think he does. You know, 2050, 2065. No, no, man. All right. So, you know, that's basically the point. I wanted to bring this up. I just do this, did this in the fly, on the fly. All right. I saw the uh, video and uh, those two scriptures came in mind. It's more edifying scriptures to get. But uh, those two is the ones that just popped up in my head at first. So I grabbed the camera, make a quick lesson. Lord willing, I pray you edified. All right. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. Because we need Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. OK, we need protection from these heathens destroying us and especially from Esau as of right now. All right. And his devices that he have imagined against us. OK, especially against the the uh, MOB that's coming. All right. Right now we're dealing with the uh, Crown Royal. So there you go. This Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. This is why you get killed, shot, man. you know, for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge. So you also reject the truth. He says, I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, thou God, all right, which God goes into power, Allah, the Most High. It says, I will also forget thy children. So not only that, you know, Jake is hard-headed, stiff-necked, rebellious, being destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And the cause of it is because they reject the truth. Okay. The Lord said, I will also reject you. He said, and thou shalt be no priest to me. It says, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, because you forgot your power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the true and living power. He says, I will also forget thy children. So not only you, your whole, hey, your, 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 your uh, generation is cursed, you know? All right, this is, I got cut off, so. Um, this is Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to read it one more time. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. All right. So, A, you destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You also destroyed because you reject the knowledge. The cause of the lack of knowledge is because you reject the knowledge. He says, I will also reject you. And thou shalt be no priest to him, seeing thou hast forgotten the law, all right, which is this truth, you know, of who you are as a people and what you belong to. Thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, which represents power, the law of thy power. That's why we have no power, because you forgot your power, okay? It says, I will also forget thy children, you know, so the Lord is going to destroy children as well. And you come back through your children, you know, so your generation is cursed. You know, and Jake right now on the whole, we're cursed as a nation, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. And that just proves that we're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know, so basically that's the point. I'm dragging it out. Uh, I hope this lesson is edifying. I got cut off. I'm going to have to piece these videos together. You know, I, I did this video on the fly. You know, I just saw the news from um from Willie, B, Willie D. All right. And I clicked the link that he had, you know, because he went into it. You know, but that just shows you, man, the Lord is not playing, man. The Lord is not playing. All right. The Lord is not playing, man. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.